Azure Active Directory is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management system. It's used to allow users to sign in and to access resources such as Microsoft Office 365, the Azure portal, and any other of the numerous uh, software as a service applications. In addition, you can use Azure Active Directory to allow access to internal resources that include applications on the corporate network and on the intranet, along with any other cloud apps that are developed by your organization. What we're going to do here in this demonstration is walk through the process of creating a new directory in our Azure tenant. And the directory that we're going to create is going to be called davisdex.com. This is going to be the fictional organization we use throughout this course. So on the screen here, you can see I'm in my Azure dashboard. Now what I'm going to do here to create a new directory is click create a resource here on the left side. And then from the marketplace window here, I can scroll down to identity. And then from here, select Azure Active Directory. Now what we need to do here when we create a directory is give our organization a name and the initial domain name, which is the onmicrosoft.com domain name. We need to add a subdomain as part of this on Microsoft. So what we're going to do here is call our organization Davis Dex. And then what we'll do is we'll call our initial domain name davisdex.onmicrosoft.com. Now we could call this whatever we want, but typically your initial domain name is going to be indicative of what your organization is. So we'll go ahead and click create here. And this typically takes a minute or two to create. And we can see here that our directory was created. So we'll go ahead and click here to manage it. And we can see now we have our Davis Dex Azure Active Directory using our Azure AD free version. And we can see our initial domain name here is davisdex.onmicrosoft.com. Now what I'm going to do in the next lesson is show you how to add a custom domain to the Azure Active Directory. So when your users log in, they're not logging in with a davisdex.onmicrosoft.com domain but an actual davisdex.com domain name. So that's called a wrap here, and I'll see you over in the next lesson.